Hello everyone, welcome back to K-pop. What? No, this is teacher reaction. I'm not redoing this take for the third time. Hello, I'm D Dog, a teacher. I play K-pop music videos in my classroom and I've been starting to react to them on here because I thought it would be fun to do. That's pretty much it. There's other reasons, but that's what I'm going with. We have something that may or may not be K-pop. And I say that because I had somebody comment saying, can you listen to K-Trot star Young Tak, Young Tak? I'm going to guess it's talk, not tack. Young talk. And um, I was like, okay, cool. That sounds fun. But what's K-Trot? And so I looked it up on my phone, you know, because I wanted to make sure it was still like a K-pop song. And it was like, K-Trot is a genre of Korean popular music known for its use of repetitive rhythm and vocal inflections uh, originating during the Japanese occupation. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Point is technically a subgenre of K-pop, kind of like. K rock isn't a subgenre of K pop, but it's like it's it's a Korean music as well. This is also one, and I figured you know what might as well. It seems really uh popular and whatnot. How many views this got? Eh, this only has fifteen hundred, but I know like other stuff has been. You know what? I've listened to stuff with less views, and we know that views don't matter. What matters is the music, and I am really excited to see what music we have here. So if you like this video at any point in time, click the like button. It makes me feel good about myself. Other than that, if I end up not liking this video, it'll be a fun experiment. I listened to K-Rap once and didn't really end up liking it. So maybe we'll be different with this. Let's listen and find out, shall we? Also, it's called Mmm. <laughs> Just want to let you know, it's called Mmm. <laughs> it. Ooh, horns, hello. Older gentleman, okay. Very, very mature voice. This is very danceable. Ooh, what's that guitar in the background? Give me more of that. Is that guitar? I don't know. Oh, maybe this is called MMM and not <laughs> Wow, his voice is really good. I like the horns. Ooh, nice run. Nice guitar? What? What is this song? His voice is very nice, though. Higher? Yeah, that's what I thought. Ooh. Wow, this, this song does not stop. It just don't stop. It says, no, we're going to party and we're going to party all night long. What is this? I love the little horns in it, though. Horns are nice. You know, if I could speak Korean, this would be such a fun song to sing. Higher? Yeah. Wow, that run? Yeah, listen to those inflections. That's nice. The end. Yeah, I I would breathe like that too if that was the case. I'd be out of breath if I was singing this song. Have you? Uh, Gesundheit. I have no idea what you just said, but I. Oh well. I. That was okay. Like, 
I came in with very low expectations because I'm like, okay, this isn't a normal K-pop song that I would listen to with like a boy group and everything. And I was like, it said repetitive, which usually isn't the best thing for me. But I mean, his voice that's very low with the instrumental that's very high with the horns and stuff, very good. They mesh very well. And I will say, I mentioned this while it was going on, but I didn't know if you could actually hear me while I was talking. This would be a fun song to, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? If it was on a, if I knew how to sing Korean, this would be a fun song to sing because of how fun it goes up and down and everything like that. And I really appreciate stuff like that. He also, very handsome, very handsome, but his voice is very mature. And I love that it's lower which is nice too. I love the horns in this. I love that there's like a, a guitar of some sort that's in there somewhere. It's it's buried in there right now, but I don't remember where it comes in. That part's really good. I love that part. Yeah, here's a guitar. But man, this after I this song goes. This is a if if someone had to perform this song you gonna be performing it you gonna be up and moving and about this is this is we're gonna have dance practice and also you're going to lose your legs because of how much we're dancing it's gonna be a fun time that is what the song is i don't know where i come up with these analogies sometimes but honestly it could be a lot worse i was definitely expecting it to be repetitive and stuff so maybe that helps but like very catchy it's very catchy i'm not gonna lie this was a pretty dang good song i don't have much musical to say about it besides like the horns are really good uh his voice is really good the chorus could i don't like the sustained note that thing gets a little grating after a little bit but i think because of how much his voice moves with the rest of the song we can we can allow we can allow that wow that little part where it goes up on classic or whatever that was that was nice um because his voice moves a lot and so it's really catchy oh look at the puppy it's not a puppy it's, it's a pupper it's a doggo um yeah okay i think they're good i think we're gonna have outro time i think i think i'm really i'm totally fine with this this is this is catchy it's not something i would put on a spotify playlist or anything definitely not something i would put on in classroom i my kiddos would get so annoyed at this but honestly like pretty darn good pretty darn good it reminds me it as weird as this sounds and it sounds really weird and i know i'm wrong it reminds me of disco why does it remind me of disco oh just does maybe it maybe it's because this is a very dancey dancey song and maybe that's why i'm thinking of it i'm not sure i don't know i'm out of breath that, that song got me out of breath and he's the one who sang it not me if you like this video at any point in time click the like button it makes me feel good about myself also comment are there other songs that are of this genre, subgenre that you think I would like? Does this person have any other songs? I feel like this person would have a really good ballad somewhere. I'm not sure. And lastly, uh, subscribe. We're almost to 690, which is the funniest number of them all. So I'm really excited for that. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. I've got like nine more K-pop music videos to uh, react to. It gonna be a while. Goodbye, everybody.